Hey everyone, I've got a special short little video today based on an interview that I did yesterday with Sleeping Warrior, also known as Anthony Riley. I spent three hours talking with Anthony Riley about his beliefs and where he gets his science from. One of the questions that I generally ask everybody is what one thing may change your mind or one thing that you don't quite understand that makes you slightly skeptical of the flat earth. The one thing that came to Anthony's mind was the Southern Pole Stars. A little bit different concept than everybody else has been telling me, because if you remember, Mark Sargent and Ranty Flat Earth both told me that the Southern Pole Stars are the one thing they can't explain. Well, Sleeping Warrior doesn't think we're actually observing the Southern Pole Stars as we do. His doubt is based upon compasses, and that they point to Magnetic North. Well, Magnetic North is not True North, and that doesn't help you find True South. But, there are declinations based upon your location that you can correct for on your compass to show you where true north and true south are. This is where Anthony has his doubt, whether we are actually looking north and south as people tell us. We discuss this issue at length, and he agrees that if people in the southern hemisphere are looking at true south and seeing southern pole stars around a center point of rotation, that would be evidence of the globe. But his question is, are they really looking true south? So we discussed at length a way to find where true south is. And here's what we came up with, and here's where I want everybody in the Southern Hemisphere's help. To determine where true south is, we're going to use the one thing that everybody has access to, the sun. This experiment will require some very, very basic instrumentation. You'll need a stick, a compass, and a camera. So anybody who wants to participate, this is how it's going to happen. On a previously specified day, everyone is going to take their stick or some other vertical device that they have in their vicinity that they can confirm is truly vertical to the ground. And at their local noon, are going to identify the direction of the shadow from that stick. That shadow will be pointing directly true north. With that shadow, they will identify what is true south. That must be marked on the ground or on the pavement or somehow be able to identify because after sundown, they're going to place a camera on that direct line of south and take a long exposure of the southern pole stars. And if the earth is a globe, they're all pointing in the same direction at the same center point of rotation and all of them will have that center of rotation in the center of their image. It doesn't matter where it's at vertical up and down. All that matters is where that center of rotation is at, left and right. Now, if everybody gets different measurements, then we've got a different topic that we need to discuss further. I believe, and I bet everybody on the globe side would believe, that every single one of those images, if taken properly and using the exact methodology that we're going to be putting out, their images will show a central point of rotation, dead center, left and right, in their images. And Anthony told me that if that is the result, he will accept that as proof of the globe. So, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, I need your help. Anthony agreed to do this as well. We are going to draw up the exact specifications of how this experiment is going to be done so that everybody does it the exact same way and that everybody documents it in a way that can be verified. So if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and you want to participate in this experiment, please look down in the description below for a link for my email. Send me your name and I will add you to a list. Once we get the specifics of the experimentation down that are agreed upon by both sides, we will publish the date we want it to happen and everyone will get their instructions. And in the end, we'll see. Are you looking at the same spot in the southern sky? Or do we live on a pizza? I've got my money on the globe.